What's up guys, this episode we're starting a new series on OAuth as the authentication process for our APIs. So we're gonna be using the doorkeeper gem for this, but we're basically going to be implementing the Facebook side of things when you click that login with Facebook button. So normally the app that has the login with Facebook button is the client, and the Facebook side of things with the user accounts is the provider. And so we're gonna be building that provider side in this episode, and then in future episodes, we're gonna be building out the client side. We'll build your own OmniAuth gem for your own service, which would be really cool, but we'll also build a React Native mobile app that uses the OAuth process to log in and get access to your account in the mobile app, which will be really cool. So Facebook's part of this is the provider side and it tells you basically when that app redirects over that this app is asking for access to your account and it wants certain information and that allows the user to say yes or no and it's secure because it's handled on Facebook's site. So this is not stuff that is going through your app or anything, it is actually handled all on their own website. So this process ends up talking back and forth uh, a couple times to your app. You do a redirect and it sends a token back and you exchange it. And that process is the OAuth process. So we're going to be building that on the provider side with doorkeepers. So we'll have the user accounts and other apps can say, hey, we'd like to integrate with that. So we will have a client and we will ask you um, if you will give us permission to use your account from your app. So we're going to build that with Doorkeeper. This is really cool. It works with your Rails APIs and Grape if you wanna use that. It also works with Devise and you can even do cool things like rate limiting your API requests with Redis, which is really nifty. There's a lot, a lot of configuration options on here, um, which we won't get into everything, but we will show you all of the basics of how to set this up so that you can build this out for your applications. So first things first, we're going to need a Rails app in order to build this out. So what I'm going to do is run uh, the template, the jumpstart template here, and we'll create our API app. 